Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I will follow you forward. I will follow. I will follow. I commit myself to you tonight, Jesus. I empty myself out before you. As I follow you, your goodness and mercy are chasing me down. Your goodness and mercy are chasing me down. While I follow you, your goodness and mercy are chasing me. before there's something about his mercies are new every morning and being a creative person I'm I'm also visual or just sensory you know so mercy to me has a smell and if you're married you know you know what it's like to like go to bed like a little bit cross with somebody or them to be cross with you imagine but you wake up in the morning to the smell of like bacon and eggs and biscuits and Sofrito, and you know, and you go, the, the, the first thing when that smell of the coffee and the, the baked goods and the pancakes and the waffles, and I'm getting hungry just talking about this, but it hits you and you realize, man, there's no way I deserve whatever she's cooking for me right now. And there's something about, baby, I love you. Last night was what it was. Here we are. Mercy is like that. That's mercy. God goes, hey, we got a fresh 24 today. Let's try again. In the age of COVID we all been going through, some didn't wake up. And here we have woken up to the smell of the mercy of God. Tina said something the other day. Tina, say, say what you said about accepted and what it opens up. Oh, um, while we've been rehearsing these songs, I mean, uh, just going through the lyrics and hearing the heart, um, hearing your heart, it's just been so amazing because I was saying that when you know that you are loved, and not just love, but you're loved with the everlasting love, there's a whole new level of gratefulness, um, I think, that comes to us. And when we worship God in those moments, just I think there's a freedom, actually, that comes to us. When we know that he knows, now he knows the real us, okay? Not the us that we brought into this room, but he knows the real us. At our deepest, darkest, lowest place, and still somehow, some way, he looks at us and he says, you're accepted. I, I got a seat at this table. Oh, 
it blows my mind and I think, how can we not? How can we not worship? How can we not just lay down in his presence and humble ourselves? How can we not give him everything, all the praise, all the glory that is to his name? Whew. I'm telling you, it just creates just knowing that we are accepted, knowing that he is a place for us, a prepared place for us. I'm telling you, it makes me love him. It makes me want to praise him. It makes me want to live my life for him.